Good morning and welcome to another inspirational story from Dr. Anna. Today, I would like to tell you a story called Unconditional Love for the Self. When we feel limited to do things, it is not because life limits us. It is because we limit ourselves. We believe that something can not be done or can be done, and therefore it becomes true. And I think it was Henry Ford who said, if you believe that something can or cannot be done, you are right. We bring ourselves down by focusing on our negative aspects and our limitations. Most of the time we are judging ourselves by other people's standards, by what they seem to have and what they have achieved without noticing that that is not our reality. Our positive aspects stop existing when we are focusing on what we don't have. They become laying dormant, like what you don't use, you lose. Someone may try to pay us a compliment and we think, what do you want from me? Or he's lying, or we feel uncomfortable. However, we always feel deserving of criticism. Even if we argue with the person who criticized us, it remains in our mind, repeating itself like a broken record. We also bring people down around us and criticize everything that it is not right in our eyes. We judge the world as we judge ourselves. Somehow we feel that if the world does it to us, we have to give it back. And therefore becomes a vicious circle. We don't realize that our external reality is a mirror of our internal truth and that any changes that we want taking place in our external world must first be engineered, thought of, become aware of and carried out in the inside. If someone feels confident or strong enough to pursue their dreams, whatever they may be, we laugh at him or her, stating that's not achievable, while inside we're envious and feel small. How is it that he's got the courage and I don't? We feel threatened because our comfort zone is shattered, because it needs expanding in an ever-changing world and people following their dreams makes us face the fact that we may not be following ours. And then we say, we feel too old, too young, too thin, too fat, too short, too tall, something. There must be something about us we are happy with. I was always good at maths at school, or I can cook wonderful meals, I sing like a bird, I enjoy giving a hand at the local charity shop. What is it about you that you would like to bring out more of? That's how we have to think. At this stage, forget about but this, but that. Imagine a limitless world where thought becomes action and everything is possible. As you focus on the good, the bad seems to lose strength and grip on you. It minimizes. Also, you get too busy doing something you enjoy, so you lose interest in what others are doing and you stop judging yourself and the rest of the world. The shift in our perception can radically change the quality of our lives. As we enjoy what we do, we start becoming happier with ourselves and find it easier to accept ourselves as we are. Our self-esteem rises and we get more courage to be ourselves and to do what we want to do. And because we are happier with ourselves, we are happier with others. And we find it easier to work in teams, to get on with others, to cooperate with each other rather than competing. We realize that there is no need to be a winner or a loser. There is enough to go around and there is always a way in which Every person in the group can get their needs met. Developing empathy and compassion, we help each other rather than taking from each other, even if it is just in thought. Sometimes we say, I only thought it, I didn't do it. The thought in itself will bring that karma to you 
because that is what we put out into the universe. We need to become our best friends, get to know the little inner voice, practice an activity that puts us in touch with ourselves, meditation, yoga, tai chi, listening to music, walking in the park. In fact, any activity which quiets our mind will allow us to develop this relationship. This will make us get to know ourselves better and develop our inner strengths, which are our anchor in the storm, our center. When we try to find stability in the outer world, asking others for their validation, we find that we lose ourselves. The only validation we need is our own. You need to love your negative side, your weak side, as well as your positive and the strong side. Because knowing our limitations is our strength. Because we will have them in mind and we will always be making provision for them. Thank you for listening. See you next time.